Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering, why are you wearing a plastic bag on your head? Well, I just got done washing my hair today because my scalp was very, very itchy and I just couldn't stand it anymore. And this was after a week and a half, by the way. So I just got done washing my hair and slapping on a deep conditioner here. So that's why I'm wearing a plastic bag for this. So sorry if I look a little messed up, but I'm lazy, okay? Sometimes I don't like to get made up for the camera. But anyway, I decided to do a product review for you guys. But before I get to that, I just want to let you know that the next video after this one will be a DIY video on um, one of my homemade beauty products. It's either going to be the shampoo or it's going to be both the toner and the moisturizer. So just keep a heads up on that. But anyway, I'm going to be reviewing this baby right here today. This is the Maui Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo from the Coconut Milk line, which is the bright blue bottle, by the way. The two places that I know where you can find this shampoo is over at CVS Pharmacy and Ulta Beauty. Now, this shampoo runs at about $8.99 plus tax. It could probably be less, and I think over at Ulta Beauty, if you have, if you are not on um, Ulta Rewards you could get it for less based on the amount of points that you have and I do believe I read up today that Ulta Beauty has a buy one get one sale on um, on this particular brand Maui Moisture here but I picked this up a long time ago and to be frank I was kind of disappointed that when the whole craze around Maui Moisture started None of the people that I um, looked to in the other videos have never heard of this shampoo. They usually went for the Heal and Hydrate one, which is in the bright purple bottle, or they went for the Curl Quench and Coconut Oil one that's in the orange bottle. I decided to go for this since it says right on here that it's dry hair, and the star ingredients besides aloe vera juice and coconut water, which are the two main ingredients for the entire Maui Moisture brand. But the star ingredients for this one is coconut milk, guava oil and mango butter and this shampoo claims to hydrate detangle while being a very gentle shampoo all around well ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something it has been a very long time and considering all of the shampoos I have tried this one is my absolute fave straight up I mean this is my favorite liquid shampoo out of all of the shampoos I've tried, I mean starting with Shea Moisture shampoos and even Garnier Fruity shampoos and none of them can match up to this. Straight up. And, and for starters, it's not even that expensive either. The smell is actually kind of fruity. It's perfumey yet at the same time it has fruity overtones. I'm not going to pour the shampoo out into my hand because I don't want to get messy again. I, like I said, I just got done washing it. But the texture of this shampoo is creamy, but if you rub it in between your fingers, it has a grainy kind of feel, like there's little tiny grains in it. Now those grains don't get in the way every time that I've used it. But as of now, I am right about here. And I'm only there because a little goes a long way. You really don't need a lot. If you wash your hair in sections, then you won't need to use a lot of shampoo. For me, I split my hair into four sections and only a quarter sized amount is enough to cover my entire enough to cover each of my sections. So that's really not a lot of shampoo by the way. So I would say if you're going to use this shampoo, make sure to put your hair in sections if you have hair like me or if you have a lot of hair on your head. This shampoo is absolutely phenomenal. Not only does it do really good and gently but effectively getting rid of all the dirt, excess oil, and any buildup of products, not as well as a clarifying shampoo, but this isn't really advertised as clarifying, but not only does it do that, it's gentle, it doesn't strip my hair, and on top of that everyone, not only does it moisturize, but I can freaking detangle with this shampoo. I can detangle with this shampoo I have never ever had that happen to me before not even with a shampoo bar yet though I did hear about Obia Naturals which I might try down the road sometime but anyway I have been able to detangle with this shampoo and it is insane like I can as soon as I lather up and scrub my scalp with the pads of my fingers I can run my fingers 
through my hair as if it's nothing. As if I'm running a comb through it or something. That is freaking insane. When this shampoo says that it detangles, I guarantee you it will detangle, okay? It's no joke. And because a little goes a long way, you won't feel the need to use all of it. I um, It does moisturize, but I do recommend using a pre-poo. That's the best way if you want to get the best results here. But on its own, I've actually used this on its own without um, pre-pooing. And even when I bleached my hair recently, um, it did really well on its own. It still left my hair moisturized and in a neutral state and not stripped at all. It's just, it's an all-around fantastic shampoo and it kind of saddens me that some of my natural ladies out there have not heard of this. So if you got kinky hair like I do, which unfortunately you cannot see because it's under this plastic bag, but if you got really, really thick kinky hair, please get this bottle. Just go to your nearest CVS or Walgreens, I think. I think Walgreens also has it too. I don't remember. But go go there, go to CVS, or go to Ulta Beauty and just get this bottle. They also have a matching conditioner. I haven't tried that yet, so I don't I don't have an opinion on that. But straight up, five out of five flowers. This is my favorite liquid shampoo. And I can't see myself going to something else. Now, when I do finish this, I will be going to shampoo bars because I'm trying out a little bit of a zero waste challenge at the moment. So I am going to be moving on to shampoo bars for now. But I know for a fact that if I get the craving to go back to a liquid shampoo, this baby is the one that I'm going to go for. It is phenomenal and I don't have any much more, I don't have much stuff to say about it. You have got to try this if you have dry hair, straight up. Now, if you have tried this coconut milk shampoo, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. I would like to remind you again that Maui Moisture products do have aloe vera juice as the first ingredient. So be sure if your hair really, really likes aloe vera stuff in general before you try these products. But if you tried this particular shampoo, tell me how it worked for you in the comments below. If you like my review, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you have any particular questions about this shampoo, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them the best way that I can. So thank you guys and I will see you in the next video, which more than likely is going to be a DIY video. Now if you excuse me, I have to go rinse this out because I think it's been in there long enough. I don't remember how long the deep the packet the um container said to leave this stuff on, but you know me, sometimes I like to cheat. But anyway, I got to go wash this out, guys. So, see you later, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.